Ustash Charles Joseph Doust, the 27th of February 1763, Douay, the 2nd of July 1794, Paris, was a general officer during the French Revolutionary Wars. He started his military career in the Old Regime Army and served on the staffs of three of the early army commanders and later fought in the War of the Pyrenees against the Kingdom of Spain. On three separate occasions he commanded the Army of the Eastern Pyrenees, but he shared the fate of two previous commanders when he was arrested and guillotined by the Committee of Public Safety. <laughs> Early career Son of Ustache Jean Marie Doust, who later became a member of the National Convention, Ustache Charles Doust began his military career as a second lieutenant supernumerary without pay in the Royal Regiment of Infantry on 21 April 1778 at the age of 15. He became Sous lieutenant on 14 April 1782, second lieutenant on 23 April 1786, and first lieutenant on 16 August 1789. Doust was appointed aide de camp to Marshal Jean Baptiste Donatine de Vimer, Comte de Rochambeau, on the 26th of May 1790. He became captain and adjutant to Marshal Nicolas Luckner on the 21st of May 1792. He became aide de camp to General Armand Louis de Ganto, Duc de Byron, on the 13th of July 1792, and received promotion to colonel on the 7th of October. Eastern Pyrenees Doust was provisionally appointed General of Brigade in the Army of the Eastern Pyrenees on 2 June 1793. He was provisionally appointed General of Division by Representatives Joseph Fabre and Raymond Gaston on 7 August, and assumed command of the camp near Perpignan. This was a difficult time to be a general in the Eastern Pyrenees. The Spanish army captured the Fort de Belgarde, a major fortress, when the siege ended on 24 June. Previous commander Claude Souchon de Chamorin was in prison and Louis Charles de Fleurs joined him when he was arrested on 6 August. Both Souchon and de Fleurs were guillotined in 1794 during the Reign of Terror. To make matters worse, the Spanish commander Captain General Antonio Ricardos was a capable opponent. Believing that Ricardo's Spanish army was unstoppable, Hilarion Paul de Puget Barbantane moved his headquarters well to the rear on 4 September 1793, putting Doust in charge of Perpignan. On the 11th of September, Barbantane fled to Toulouse, leaving the Army of the Eastern Pyrenees without a commander. The army briefly separated into three independent divisions and Doust took command of the 1st Division. On 17 September, Doust won a significant victory at the Battle of Peristortis. He led his troops in an attack on Juan de Corton's 6,000 Spanish soldiers at the Camp of Vernet. Other French troops under Jacques Giles Henri Goguet attacked Peristortes Hill, where Geronimo Goran Moctezuma, Marquis de las Amarillas, deployed his division. After heavy fighting that lasted into the night, the French inflicted a major defeat on their opponents. Spanish killed, wounded, and captured numbered at least 1,702, and 26 cannon were captured. More importantly, the Spanish never seriously threatened Perpignan again. On the 18th of August, Doust became subordinated to Luc Simeon Auguste Dagobert, the new army commander. A few days after the French defeat at the Battle of Truillas on the 22nd of September, Dagobert was arrested and Doust became the army commander. On the 3rd of October, Doust with 16,000 men engaged Ricardos and 15,000 Spanish troops at La Boulou on the Tech River. The Spanish won the battle, inflicting losses 400 killed and 800 wounded on their enemies, while suffering only 300 casualties. During and after the battle, 1,500 French soldiers deserted. Between of October and 21 November, Louis-Marie Thoreau became the new army commander and Doust went back to command the 1st Division. Doust temporarily led the army again from 22 to 27 November until the inept but politically influential François Amédée Dopit took command from 28 November to 20 December. On 7 December, Doust advanced with 10,000 troops to surprise the enemy camp at Vallelong dels Monts. Ricardos with 3,000 Spanish and 5,000 Portuguese soldiers, repulsed the French attack. The French counted 340 killed and wounded, and 312 missing. In addition, 26 cannon, two colours, and 2,000 muskets were captured by the Allies. 
The Allies reported only 56 casualties. Execution This time, Doust's luck had run out. Though he again assumed temporary army command on 21 December, he was recalled to Paris the next day. On 2 January 1794, representatives Jacques Cassagnes and Gaston confirmed him as army commander. But his doom was sealed when he was arrested by order of representatives Édouard Milhaud and Pierre Soubrani on 10 January 1794. He was also denounced by his jealous rivals, Thoreau and Doppet. Accused of malice and disability, Doust was sentenced to death by the Revolutionary Court. He was guillotined in Paris on 2 July 1794 at the age of 31 years. <laughs> Footnotes <laughs>